Hey everyone, hey, 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 hey. Um, I wanted to share this very important message. It's a word of encouragement, but it's extremely important. And as I'm sitting here just reflecting on today, awesome service, awesome word. I'm not even gonna get all that into it. But I wanna tell you guys to remember that your relationship with God is extremely personal if you have a relationship and the only way you would have a relationship with God is if you're speaking to him in prayer and you're reading his word otherwise you really don't have a relationship with God you may have an association but a relationship there's communication there's listening there's speaking there's doing so I want to just encourage every Christian every believer out there um whether you're part of a um, church or you're not or in between whichever however you want to um word it it is extremely important that you cherish. When I say cherish, you remember that your relationship with God is so personal that it doesn't matter who your pastor is. It doesn't matter who um, your sister or brother in Christ is. It doesn't matter who your husband or wife is. Who, it doesn't matter whoever the other man is. Your relationship with God has to be that personal where you do not allow the relationship someone else has with God to determine your level of maturity, your level of understanding. Because too often we rely, and I'm guilty of this, we rely on the knowledge or the understanding of the pastor to guide us in our walk with Christ more than we rely on ourselves to get into the word and spend time in prayer and ask God to reveal himself to us. God will use these people, but I've come to realize that a lot of us, we rely more on that, on the relationship of somebody else, so the relationship someone else has with Christ or with God than on our own. And even to where you guys might go to different um, churches or you may go to a church, you know, you want to be a part of a um, church, help and do whatever. And sometimes you'll go there and because you hear it's a church or you hear these people singing, dancing, praising God in their own different ways, you, you get excited and you're like, yeah, yeah, we love God. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And everyone's all hyped up. But if you have your own personal relationship with God, you will know when to identify hype and when to identify, you know, the Holy Spirit um, moving in people. But that's not even what I, I want to focus on. I don't want you to ever go to a place and not be um, alert, spiritually alert, not have a sound mind. When you get to that place, and that's for me too, when you get to that place of maturity with God that you can sing, you can dance, you can hug everybody, talk to everybody, listen to the sermon, you can talk about the sermon, but you still remember you're dealing with people and not every person around you is going to have the same relationship with God. Some may have a genuine relationship. Some may have a form of godliness. Some may you know, be on assignment to pull out those who are serious about their walk with God. So mind you, just because you are in a setting with others that say they're Christians or amongst people that are talking about the word of God or the um, or about Jesus, it does not necessarily mean that, let me not say that. Okay, yeah, it doesn't mean that things are the way it seems. You know, and I know some people choose not to associate themselves with the church because of that. But what God showed me, he showed me the flip side to that. He said, Carrie, you have to get to a place of maturity where I can put you anywhere. Because in the Bible, there were many people that were placed in situations that um, God used them amongst believers, amongst non-believers. So it's not so much the association that is the issue as much as your relationship with God. Now, God allowed me to remember something I heard about, you know, wherever you go, you're saying I agree with this. But here's the deal. I've been to quite a few churches and um, there, you know, maybe some something said that I don't agree with. 
And it's not necessarily because it's right or wrong. I don't agree with it. I don't feel that conviction within my spirit. But what I appreciate is the fact that I'm at a place where I can say, I can think for myself. Just because I hear everybody saying it or doing it, I'm not so caught up in the hype. I feel like I have to do it too. I can say, I agree with that. I disagree with that. You know, I say, and, and, and then bring it to God. Like, all right, God, can you teach me more about this? Show me, you know, because God knows when we are truly seeking him and truly seeking to do his will and truly seeking to get understanding. And it's, it's written in the word. You know, if you seek the understanding, you will get it. You will, God will give it to you, but we often don't. It's easier to just rely on someone who seems mature in the word of God. There's a lot of people, guys, that are really caught up in the hype of singing and dancing in churches, but their lifestyles are complete different from completely different from the expectation of God. And I'm not judging them. So here's the beauty in it all. When you get to that place of maturity, you can love these people. You can love that undercover alcoholic, that undercover um, person that maybe you know sleeping around or um, living a lifestyle that is against God's will. You can still love them. You're not going to judge them. You're not going to write them off. But you need to get to that place of maturity. Oftentimes, too, some people think they're there and they become judgmental. So we have a lot of different things going on in these settings. And that's why I'm making this video to just encourage you to have a sound mind. That's not what I'm, <laughs> I'm encouraging you to have a sound mind. But ultimately, I'm encouraging you to make sure you have a relationship with God and you realize how intimate it is, how personal it is, and how valuable and vital it is when you're anywhere, not just amongst unbelievers, amongst believers, and because everybody around you who's singing and dancing is not on the same page as you. Everybody who's saying scriptures and God this and glory to God and praise the Lord and I'm praying blah 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 blah, blah. and I'm sorry I, had, I said it like that but I've heard it so much um, and I could have been guilty at a time or two in doing that or more who knows but it's just you got to be able to catch it catch it when I say catch it see those things that are just routine tradition religion and identify authenticity I feel like if you are at a place with God um, where your relationship is personal you can feel sometimes how you can you can really you can identify with somebody else's spirit because they hold the same spirit that you have you can identify with certain things and when we all die we don't die in groups okay we can die in groups but we're not going to go to heaven in groups our soul is individually leaving our body our spirit is individually leaving our body. So I encourage you guys, make sure no matter where you go, no matter what you do, no matter who you are around and who you respect, make sure your relationship with God is so personal that everything you say, everything you do, every person you associate with, you you check it, you check it with God, you know? Make sure you're there where your spirit can be like, mm. No, this is not right. Mm, don't say this. Mm, don't do that. Not, not where you have to go to someone every minute. Hey, should I do this? Hey, should I do that? God will put people in your life to help you know you along the way, but your reliance should be on God, meaning that he should be the first person you check with in anything. Because once you take that power away, once you give that power to a person, your, your faith in God is going to um, decrease. And what he can do in you and through you and show you is going to decrease. All right. So please, guys, take heed to this. I feel like this is a warning um, and an encouragement at the same time. Please make sure you work on your personal relationship with God. And if you have one, cherish it and utilize it no matter who you're around. I don't care where you are. If you're in a live service where everybody's singing and dancing you're in a very calm reserve service whatever it is wherever you are that relationship matters all right y'all 
<laughs> I'm a little tired. That's why I look like this. All right.